Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and today I am here working on letter T for torn book pages. So, I'm going to jump right in, and I've already cut and inked, or not cut, torn and inked some book pages. Now, in all transparency, I did use a tear ruler. So here I've got two pieces of a book page that me measure five inches wide by two and three quarter inches tall. This one is going to be really easy. I'm just trying to figure out. That'll work. Okay. Which way? So I'm going to take one of the pages and I'm just going to fold it down to the corner, to the bottom edge and the corner, and I'm going to crease it. Okay. And then I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So here I folded down this one from the top right down and here I'm going to take the top left and fold it down. Now like I said I used a tear ruler. You don't have to do that hand tear whatever you want to do. Um, But because they're torn, I couldn't remember what I was going to say. Because they're torn, they're not going to be, you know, like I said, they're five by two and three quarter, but that's not going to be exact because they are torn. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to glue up just this side. And then fold it back down. And what that does is that leaves me a little tuck right here. And I'm going to do on the same on this one. So just glue that down. And now I've got a tuck right here. Now normally what I would do is I would go ahead and why am I not doing that? Why did I decide? I, oh, I know why. Uh, then you can use whatever you want. Here I'm going to use a mat and my book pages will be, my journal pages will be five and a half at the largest. Let's put it over here so I'm not. So, okay, and I've got about five. So I'm going to take it up to about five and a quarter. And then what I would normally do is glue along this bottom edge, okay? And then I will have, when that is glued, I will have a tuck spot here, a tiny one right there, a tuck spot here, and a pocket back here. Okay? I'm not going to glue and decorate them yet. And here's the reason. When I put them into my journal, if I put them... If this is my journal page, if I put them on this side of the page, then I'm probably going to want it to go this way so that whatever is in this tuck spot, whatever's in this tuck spot will be small right here. And whatever is here, I would probably have standing up. 
but whatever's here, I may want to come out. So I want it to make it easy, easy to get out. And on the flip side, if I put it on this side of the page, I may want it to go this way because this will be the outside edge of my journal for the same reason. So that is my, it will become a torn book page pocket, but that's all I'm going to do to that for right now until I decide where it's going to go in my journal. I hope that makes sense. Okay, for my second one, let me grab a book page. I've, I've gotten some of this ready already, so for this one, what I did was I tore around the outside edges of my page. Then I took it and I sort of made an S out of it, like this. And I just tried to line my pages up as best I can. Of course, again, because it's torn, it's not going to be exact, and it doesn't really matter. And then I just folded them down. Okay, well that one I did a really bodgy job with. They probably ought to be relatively even, but you get the idea. So then when I make what I'm going to make, well then, let, let, we'll come back to that in a second. Then what I did is I went and I covered this page and this page with coffee dyed paper. And I covered this page and this page with coffee dyed paper. So, what we've got here is my torn one that was, the book page was coffee dyed. And I've got coffee dyed paper here and coffee dyed paper here. And then when you flip it this way, I've got coffee dyed paper here and coffee dyed paper here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is for the front, I'm going to take this piece of scrapbook paper and I'm going to put a little thumb hole in it. Now I have to re-ink my thumb hole. And I'm going to glue it on three sides, not the side with the thumb hole, but the top, that side, and the bottom. And I'm going to make a pocket on top. Okay, and then I'm just going to put this right on the front of my book page. Burnish that down. Okay, so now I will have, let me get my glue back in. A pocket here, and it will open here, okay? And then here you will have journaling space, and if you flip it over this way, you will have journaling space. And when I put this down in my journal, what I will do is I will glue it on these three sides and make a side pocket there. And then, when I do that, I can also use a, uh, I won't be using this one, I'll be using a different one, but I can also use some sort of decorated little paper clip to keep it closed. Okay, so that's very simple. And the only other thing I want to do 
is I'm going to, I've got this little squirrel stamp. And, oops, I think we'll put a little squirrel right here. These are not super high quality stamps, but, okay, so we've got a little squirrel there, and let's see. I hope I did that the right way. Yeah, I did. Okay. And we'll use this little squirrel stamp. Actually, I think I'm going to do it that way. And put it on one of these pages. just to give this a little more decoration. All right, there we go. So very simply, that is my torn book page pocket number two. And it's a pocket and journaling, well, actually it's a double pocket and journaling space, okay? And then for my third one, I've got this piece of book page that I tore to four inches wide by about nine and a quarter inches long. And uh, I just folded it in half and inked around the edges. And for this one, I'm going to, here I've got some scrapbook paper, and I'm going to glue it on the inside. This will basically be a folded journal card, journaling card. I think I need to clean out the tip of my art glitter glue. So I'm leaving book page edges around it, but then you've got some paper here that you can write on, and Some paper here. And even though this has decoration on it, I think it's all light enough that it can be written on. Okay, and then for the front, I've got this piece of cardstock that I'm going to put down. And when I'm saying cardstock, this is from my scrapbook paper pad. Okay. And then this was one of the little cards in the scrapbook paper pad that I thought was cute. So I'll just put that on the front for my, sort of my focal point. And then the last thing I'm going to do 
after I, my fingers are sticky. Let's wipe them off. They're gluey. Okay, then the last thing I'm going to do is take some of this organza ribbon that I've got and let's be sure I've got enough here to tie a little bow. I should, but my fat fingers sometimes see it differently. bad. That'll at least get me started for what I need because I just want to see about where I want it to be. My bow tails are not too uneven. Okay, so that positioning will work, so now I'm going to untie it. And I'm going to glue this onto the back. Now I'm going to grab something. Uh, hang on just a second and let me show you what I'm going to do. Sorry about that loud noise. Okay, here I've got a little bit of packing tape. And what I'm going to do is... Need to cut it down some. I'm going to put the packing tape over the ribbon on the back. Still didn't cut it down quite enough. Okay, and my reason for doing that is, A, it helps hold the ribbon. B, when I put this in a journal, I want to have the option of, obviously we'll have the little journaling card, but I want to have the option of gluing it down as a pocket. So maybe just glue along these three sides so that you would have the journaling card where if you untie it, you open it up, and you have journaling space, but you could have a pocket behind it, and the, the packing tape helps keep anything that you're putting into the pocket from catching on that ribbon. So... That's my reason for doing that. So that is torn book page number three. I'm not going to take the time to tie that right now. Here's number two. And, oops. Here's number one that is not finished yet. I just showed you very simply how to make it. And I will finish this up once I know where it's going to go in my journal. So that's it for now, guys. Until next time, I wish you all a wonderfully happy, crafty day, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.